Hello everyone, Sergeant274 back with another weapon video. Today we're going to take a look at one of the most popular weapons in the game. Uh, one of my favorite weapons in the game. Um, it's a katana. It's the Uchi katana to be specific. I tried to get a good shot of it there. I can't really. Um, it's pretty much the first Uchi you can get in the game. Um, it is amazing though. I like katanas in general because they're fast. You can see there they cause bleed effect. Um, this one in particular, the Uchi, scales straight with dex, a scaling there, and only takes 14 strength and 14 dex to wield. Um, so if you're doing a low level build, um, you only you don't have to invest many points into it if you want to uh, to make it into chaos or lightning. Um, anyways, you can see the move set here. It's very quick, and like I said, it, it, the bleed buildup is pretty good too. Um, the one downside, I guess, would be that um, its stability, or durability, I should say, isn't very good. Um, but if you have the repair box or repair kits, uh, and you repair your equipment on a regular basis, you're not going to have to worry about that. <coughs> so I want that, or wouldn't let that factor into whether or not you use a katana. You can see the weapons, very powerful, very strong. Um, and the Uchi, as you'll see later, can be buffed at plus 15, so... Yeah, it's very nice. This character has 40 decks, so that's uh, the baseline that we're going to be using. Um, this is a slash and thrust weapon. So the R2s and the running attack here is a, uh, um, a thrusty motion, along with a backstep or backflip, depending on if you have Dark Old Green Ring. Um, and you see the slash there with the rolling attack. So it's a really nice moveset. Um, I like the moves of the Aito, or Aito, however you want to pronounce it, a little bit better. Uh, that's just because of the R2. You can see there the, the two-handed R2 was a downward uh, a slash. And I showed that off earlier. Anyways, let's see this weapon in action. Alright, here we are in on Orlando. You can see there's the uh, stats. You don't need it, really. You just need 14 strength to wield it one-handed, but it doesn't scale at all with strength, so it's not a quality weapon. In the least, straight duck scaling. So here we go, you can see that the two-handed damage is just quick and, you know, it was three hits. Uh, this knight up here is not going to last long. There's a rolling two-handed followed by just one um, two-handed R1. I missed the plunging attack here. Um, I try to get fancy with this guy. I don't I, tr I tried to kick him apparently because, you know, that's really cool. Um, yeah. This is just a regular R1. You can see how quick the, the attacks land. Um, doesn't do so well against the shield, as you'll see here. Or a giant spear. Yeah. So, there you go. There's a thrusting R2 one-handed. Very nice. Very nice attack. Here you'll see we'll do some backstabs here. One-shots him, no doubt. 573. Awesome damage with this weapon. Here is a jumping attack, two-handed, 439, almost enough to kill him. Um, you can see the the running attack with these weapons is very, very nice. Running, thrusting attack. Here's the parry and riposte at 747. And here's me trying to get fancy with this guy. And I don't think it works out. But here's the, uh, the standing R2, two-handed. So 393, it's good damage, just a long attack. Here's me getting whacked in the face again, which is, uh, stabbed in the face, which is a common thing during these videos lately. Alright, let's see how this bad boy does with the Hornet Ring equipped. And uh, I have to have sell the Chlorinthy Ring, get that stupid Chlorinthy Ring off here. And let's put on my Dark Lord Green Ring. Alright, so, with the Hornet Ring, plus 15 Uchi, 40 dex, 972, it's pretty good. Pretty good damage. Uchi has slightly higher damage than the Ayato and the uh, Washing Pole. It has less damage than the Chaos Blade overall, but uh, obviously the trade-off with Chaos Blade is you can't buff it, and um, it takes 20 hit points every time you land a successful strike. Not including critical hits, though. All right. Anyway, speaking of buffing stuff, uh, let's put Dark Moon Blade on this real quick and do a. Uh, Parry and repost against this guy and just see what the damage output is. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so there are two ways to get this weapon. The easiest way to get this weapon 
or well actually the earliest way to get this weapon is to kill the merchant in the undead bird so here I am going back from the bonfire and um, I was gonna show him off to you but he's uh, passed out drunk or then uh, yeah he's dead I killed him so how did I kill him this was earlier in the playthrough to record this girl um, yeah you come here kill him and you get all that stuff including the Uchi so you can get that very early in the game if you don't want to kill him you have to come here through the forest and this is just me showing off the Uchi's uh, potential a little bit more um, against these forest guys who uh, fall very quickly to the Uchi's quick attacks um, you see a quick parry and repast with a hornet ring and then I buff against uh, I buff with darkening blade against this guy and it's massive damage so anyways, you come over here, and you talk to Alvina, and oh yeah, that's right. I betrayed the Covenant, so she hates me, and she's going to disappear. Alright, so thankfully again, I have footage of this character's playthrough, or my playthrough with her from back in the day, and get the Crest of Artorias, and you can just fly by these guys, and talk to Alvina, join the Covenant. <laughs> After you join the Covenant, step outside and make sure you talk to Shiva, because Shiva will not be there unless you join the Covenant. But you have to talk to him first, because he will not appear um, in Blight Town if you don't talk to him. His ninja is right behind him, too. You can kick the ninja off the cliff and get the Darkwood Green Ring as well. Shiva will attack you, but just save and reload. Anyways, come down to Blight Town after you do all that. He will be here. He will give you a gesture, and he will sell lots of good stuff here. Our flambers, the stone whatever sword all kind of stuff so, so <coughs> excuse me the washing pole into uchi for 5000 and you can see his ninja is right behind him as well so that's how you get it i really recommend this weapon it was very amazing i love it see all right thank you for watching everyone see you next time adios